So rumination is a natural process for human beings, but too much of anything is good for nothing. All right. So on average, you should not be going beyond eight weeks to make a decision. If you find that you are, it's time to do something about it and get yourself back, get your head back on straight. Think of the rumination process like this. And you know, many people come into me and they're com they complain that I can't stop thinking about the same thing. It's been months, it's been years. I just go back and forth between thinking and feeling my thoughts and my feelings. What's missing is doing, do something or don't do something, right? So what has to happen is an action to break a ruminative cycle. Think, feel, do. I advise that you take a positive action. Do something that is good for you in your best interest. Some people to break a ruminative cycle, they do new things. Yes, but those things might be not in their best interest. So I could go uh, drink a bottle of wine. It's a doing, it's an action, but a bottle of wine at night so I can stop my think, feel, think, feel uh, overwhelmingly burdensome process is not helpful. So instead I could go take a walk, hmm? uh, write it down. I have some suggestions here for you as to what you can do to break out of an overthinking cycle. Write things down. If the thing is bothering you, get your journal out. Write it down, okay? Sometimes it helps to take the ideas and the thoughts out of your head and to just put it down on paper. Number two, move your body. Distract your brain. Move your body. Distract your brain. That'll create new sensations in your body that will take your brain away from that continuous loop of thoughts and feelings. Number three, think about this. If you're at work and you cannot stop thinking about how broken hearted you are, how sad you feel, how just uh, abandoned or victimized you feel. You may be right in all of those thoughts and feelings, yes, but it's possibly interfering with your life. Here's what you can do. Allow yourself time to actually worry. Allow yourself time to think about it. So tell yourself, you know what? When I get home at 7.30, between 7.30 and 8, I'm going to sit in my little bed or in my little corner and I'm just going to worry, think, ruminate, go over it in my head back and forth, okay? Make time for it. Distract yourself, like I said. Another thing to do, tell yourself to stop, you know? My mom used to have a little saying where she'd say, child, give your butt three slaps and psh, get moving. I don't know what your parents said, but there are ways to jolt yourself out of uh, that sort of trance that the thinking, feeling cycle can loop you into. And last of all, ask yourself, is there something you can do, 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 to change what you're worrying about? If there is, do it. If there is not, still do something like Meditate, breathe, yeah. Find a way to still yourself, okay? Uh, many people find solace in the serenity prayer. God grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change. Hmm? Courage to change the things I can and the wisdom to know the difference. I hope you Use that little tool, if nothing else, to give yourself some peace and to help you break out of any rumination cycle. Thank you for listening. Dr. Trippy. check me out on my website, drtriphi.com. Peace.